look, I'll show you. They're right here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Welcome to the Whiskey Vault. I'm Daniel. I'm Rex. That's an that's a enchanting opening. Um, we've got a whiskey. Oh, I threw away my notes. Uh, we've got a whiskey from Restless, Restless Spirits Distilling. Yes. Um, so we tried their, we've tried two of their stuff. Things. Yes. One was called Sons of Aaron. This is Kansas City, Missouri. Yes. One was called um, Sons of Aaron, and it was sourced Irish whiskey. Okay. And one was called Goalie Town. Look, feel the top of that. This is why I almost knocked it over. Oh. It stuck to my palm. It, the bear, it could almost stick to my finger and lift yeah. off. <laughs> uh, so then we tried Goalie Town, mm. a single malt. Mm. I don't remember whether we liked it or not, but I have it over here. Mm -hmm. Because this is a blend of Irish whiskey and their own house single malt. Cheers, you magnificent bastards. So pot still, double distilled, single malt that they make, yeah. mixed with an Irish whiskey. Okay. Irish whiskey's four years old. Okay. On the nose. Funky. Well, but it's a fresh, great funky. Yeah, explosion of fruit, but overripe and slightly musty. Well, see, that that you know, conveys that. That's their barley. It elicits imagery of things that are like a darker, heavier flavor. No, it's gr what I'm getting. It's granola with dried fruit. Berries in it. Yeah, berries. And not, honey. Not like your deep, rich, no. heavy, yeah. No. Pear, peach. There you go. No, you said it's a blend of Irish. Uh, Irish and American. I'm not. They're, or their malt. I'm not getting um, shortbread cookie. Me which either. is what I'm looking for whenever, oh, somebody taste says, it. whenever somebody says Irish. There it is. So this smells like craft malt, but tastes like Irish pot still. <laughs> I'll, and the thing is, I'll bet the Irish they're sourcing is a grain Irish. Yeah. Well, I mean, maybe. I don't actually know. So it's less of the shortbread cookie note and more of like a, it presents this kind of like a sweet cream with maltiness. Yeah. It's like a malty sweet cream. Yeah. That's why I say it's Irish pots, like malt, or not pots, not pot still, Irish single malt. Yeah. Um, was what it tastes like. I bet it's Irish grain whiskey. But their, if I'm not mistaken, their malt is taken over the nose. This one? Yeah. The second one you just poured? Goalie Town. This is their malt. Ooh, oh, yeah. That is. That's where most of the nose is coming from. That's granola. And you mix that mm -hmm. with that sort of metallic vanilla, slightly rubber grain column stilled Irish. Is sweet cream Irish. Yeah. Sweet cream, yeah. Irish. And then. Which makes it taste like Irish single malt. You know what? I... Musty granola Irish single malt. I don't mind the. Uh, granola note. I like granola. Mm. I like that that grain, grain forward like honey sweetness mixed in. Yeah, I like their malt better by itself than I do this blend. It feels like it knows it, what it wants to be more clearly than right. what this does. Right. This one, uh, you know, granted it's a blend of like different categories, and it tastes like a blend of different categories. This one though. Um, if I had to put a category on it, that granola note is one that I find in a lot of American whiskeys that mm -hmm. I really enjoy. Mm -hmm. American, specifically, craft whiskeys mm -hmm. that I really enjoy. The blend's okay. Their malt is better. Oh, oh, I really like the malt. Wow, and then, well beyond the granola. Yeah. There's like, um, there's some fruitiness involved, there's vanilla in there. Oh, and then the finish shifts gears nicely. Yeah, the, 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 the complexity and the there's... consistency of the malt yeah. is solid. Yeah. This blend doesn't quite feel like it married well. Well, I get what you're saying. It's kind of like, well... It's an odd couple. It is. It's like, what are you trying to go for here? It's like this, when you see a guy with a certain girl and you're like, there's no way. This feels you like... You must be rich. <laughs> this feels like a cohesive, well-thought-out journey that... Uh, is that me or you? That's you. That's me. From... Start okay. I have to take this. Okay. I interrupted you with a phone call because I rudely forgot to turn my phone off. I didn't want to bring it up. I don't even. What? I don't even deserve this. <laughs> I don't. I didn't want to bring it up. 
I didn't want to put you on the spot. But I felt it. Everybody watching felt it. Felt it. The, the disrespect. The, the disrespect. The rudeness. The only person that I think is more disrespectful than what we just witnessed mm. is Fancy Dan. Because he has yet to recognize the... I don't know. I mean, there's not a better word than betterness. How many push-ups can you do? Of this. I'll do some damage. <laughs> no, I don't mean to your body. Right. right. I mean... <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Just let me sound cool. Yeah. Just let me say, I'll do some damage. And then people can assume whatever they want to assume. Yeah. They don't need to know, okay. I'll do some damage to my joints and ligaments. <laughs> We don't have to take it that far. That's I tell you what, you can do the push. That's just too much to you. Look, do it on the arm of the couch. You keep it vague. Just a forward it, lean. You keep it vague, and then you can maintain this totally, this facade of coolness and confidence. That's fair. Prowess even, but you just had to ruin it. You just had to out me in front of, in they, front let's of be honest. all of the Magnificent Bastards, and even worse, and even worse, you had to out me in front of... Fancy Dan. Fancy Dan. Let's be honest. <laughs> they weren't watching. They're, no one's watching this. And <laughs> Fancy Dan... He barely watches. He sometimes watches. No, this is what he did. This is what he told me this morning. <laughs> he sometimes watches. <laughs> Have you seen these edits? His, he his, sometimes watches. No, no, this is what he did. <laughs> this morning, Fancy Dan, put on the screen whether or not you actually said this. Say, hey, uh, you know, I'm trying out uh, like this uh, this editing service. Okay. Uh, you know, it's, um, it's Philippines. Wait, wait, he's all, he's outsourcing his job? I'm not saying anything else. I'm not saying what? anything else. And Dan, did you did you not say this to me this morning? <laughs> I love the without context quote removals. Yeah. <laughs> Good times. Let me know how it goes, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> the balls on that man. <laughs> Uh, hey boss, how's it going? I'm trying out this editing service in the Philippines. <laughs> aren't yeah. you the aren't you the editor? <laughs> <laughs> uh, this it's 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 actually really cool how they did this bottle. It's a shrink wrap yeah. cover. Yeah, it, it kinda, generic bottle with a shrink back. Kind of gets all shrivelly up here around the neck. Yeah, but I think it's worth it. Yeah, but it would work better if it was on a on a bottle that. It stopped here, and right. it never had that shrink. So it, it's the same type of shrink wrap that you would get if this wasn't like a sticker. Right, right. There's right. that kind of shrink wrap. Or a shrink wrap on the top of a bottle to like, seal I it in. I could just pick the label right yeah. here and tear it off. But it looks really cool. And yeah. I'm assuming it's... Hell of a dot cheaper than a custom bottle. Yeah, and I imagine like this machine where you load it up, you just put the bottle in, thunk. Oh, yeah. Out. Absolutely. Yeah. That's sexy looking, though. I think you can like wrap Teslas, too. It's probably the same machine. It's a Tesla Stick wrapper. Stick your arm in there. Stick... Oh. Could you, Arm wrap. Could you wrap a dude? Probably. It's like from the neck down. Yeah, chunk. <laughs> it's like the kip in the Christmas story. Guys, yeah. wait. Uh, well, done. I would rather drink their malt. The double barrel aged whiskey, the single malt from Gully yeah. Town. That is nice. We I came like back it. to it. I don't yeah. remember who donated this one. Blue sticker man. No, blue sticker means we've inventoried it. Blue sticker man. Anyway. Wait, oh, we never did the comments because we went off on there's, there's pace rudeness there's, there's pace and the pace phone interrupted you. Pace. and Ace M.F. Johnson. Ventura. You okay? I, sorry, a little indigestion. You going to be all right? No, I didn't sleep well last night. I have not been doing well until about five minutes ago. <laughs> you doing good now? I'm working on it, yeah. All right. Yeah. I mean, just let me know. No, no. no. You, want, you want like a trustful exercise? <laughs> <laughs> that goes so badly. <laughs> I would catch you. Uh huh. Most of the time. Yeah. Like, like nine times out of ten. Yeah. The, 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 and it's gonna be the first one that's the one out of the ten. <laughs> and then I won't do any of the others. And you'll be like, no, the other nine. How could would have been fine. <laughs> uh, oh wait, he has a question. Ace and mm. Johnson. There should be a scale for quality of a whiskey based on Rex's thumbnail face. <laughs> like. Dan, like Dan does a really good job of uh, making the thumbnails, mm -hmm. and um, more often than not, the the facial expressions will be choosing a moment. But I gotta believe there's some thumbnails where we're making some kind of face just because it's animated and you know funny looking, and you're you know, more likely to click on it. And I gotta believe there's gotta be facial expressions that lead people to believe to wildly inaccurate conclusions. Oh yeah, about what we think about the whiskey. Yeah, because it'll be a face yeah. where we're like, oh, but, but it's like an amazing whiskey. Yeah. yeah, yeah, so it's based on 
nothing uh, involving a review of the whiskey. Hello, Howl Pindrag. That's a cool name. I don't think it's real though. Howl Pindragon. Well, read it. It's his D and D name. It's got to mm. be. I panicked so much that they read my Reddit comment. I totally forgot to put a period in the middle. I'm sorry, Rex. I confused you so much. Grammar people. How many times do I have to tell yeah, you? Yeah, that's the problem. It's the here. most important thing around here. Pronunciation and grammar. Come on. Bunch of lazy bastards. So, there's a picture of your daughter and her new pigtails. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so Brandy put, oh, new pigtails. I got to practice. Right. I got to get better at them. Yeah. So I commented, I'll let you practice on me. <laughs> right? Do the beard pigtails? Yeah. And then she said, I'm holding you to it, but is the Rex sporting cuffed pants your fault? <laughs> You mean the ones that went halfway up? My yeah, head? yeah, yeah. And I replied, I have nothing to do with those cuffed pants. Those are pants made for an eight foot tall man being worn by someone too cheap to buy pants that fit. That's nothing to do with cheapness. That's just thoroughly uninterested in the things that really is just taking up every waking moment of fancy dance life. It's debilitating, really. The extent, I look over, he's supposed to be working. He sent all of the editing to the Filipinos, apparently. <laughs> and he's flipping through Cosmo. No, no. What the I, hell? Here's the thing. I think you're wrong. <laughs> if I could describe Fancy Dan's style in one word, uh -huh. it would be effortless. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, it would be delegation. <laughs> <laughs> all right, here's the fighting, stealing, and drink. If you fight me, fight for a friend. Steal, may you steal your liver, sorry. And if you drink, May you drink with us. <laughs>